Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy. And today we're going to talk about some information that came across my desk from our friends at Warner Brother Home Entertainment, which is I'm really glad that I got on their press list because they've been sending me some really cool stuff lately. Obviously, Trisse being the big one. And I know some of you are waiting for my reviews for episodes four, five, and six. I promise I will get those out to you guys next week. I'm sorry for the delay, but as more stuff has been coming in from Warner Brothers, I wanted to make sure I covered those things as well. So I promise Trisse will be wrapped up four, five, and six separate episodes. I'll have those up for you next week. And then soon after, I should have the comic book in my possession, volume one, and soon after that, volume two. And I'll definitely do reviews of those as well. So thank you for being patient on that. And uh, please go check out my Batman Long Halloween Part 1 review. That should be up uh, hopefully very soon if it's not up already. So this information is really cool because I am a big Mortal Kombat fan and I was a little disappointed or a lot disappointed in the live action movie that we got recently. But one thing I was not disappointed in was Scorpion's Revenge, which was a Mortal Kombat Legends animated film that came out last summer and it was awesome. It was really, really cool. I loved it a lot. And there was even a time and I'm going to get into some slight spoilers here. So if you haven't seen it, go watch Scorpion's Revenge. Uh, please do. It's really awesome. And then come back for this information. Um, but that story had me locked in until towards the end. It started to lose me because they were saying like, oh, Liu Kang, you're destined to win the tournament. And you're like, okay, but how come Liu Kang isn't getting the final blows in? How come he's about to get beat by Goro? What's going on? And then Scorpion had to come save the day and screw everything up for the tournament, right? And I'm like, no, this doesn't make any sense. They were setting up Liu Kang as well as telling Scorpion's origin story. But then you find out it's like, yes, Raiden's like, you weren't meant to win this battle. You're meant to win the battle. Um, and that's what this movie is. Mortal Kombat Legends Battle of the Realms. And this is going to be a new animated film, a sequel to the Scorpion's Revenge movie. And apparently it says one final fight to save the universe. So this may be the, you know, the first movie being the origin of this Mortal Kombat Legends animated universe. And this might be the conclusion. We might see the end of at least the first tournament anyway that saves Earthrealm. And this is going to arrive on August 31st, 2021 on digital Blu-ray and 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray combo pack. Um, so that's awesome. So you're going to get it all in one day, kind of like how we did with Long Halloween. Uh, everything came out in one day, which is, I like that. I, I, sometimes that gap drives me crazy because if I don't have the money for the digital one, I got to wait two weeks and then I'm like, all right, well then I might as well buy the physical one now. And when my review goes up, everyone's already seen everyone else's review who bought the digital one. So it's uh, yeah. So sometimes for me as a reviewer who buys all of his own stuff, usually it, it's, it's a, it's a bummer, but, uh, but Warner Bros has been nice. They sent me a copy of uh, Batman long Halloween. And that's how I was able to share it with you guys. And if that ever happens again, I'm not counting on it. But if it ever does uh, and we get a free digital code, I'll definitely give it out in those episodes for sure. So back to this. We have the fate of the universe once again hangs in a balance as warriors come together for one final clash in Mortal Kombat Legends Battle of the Realms, an all-new feature-length film produced by Warner Brothers Animation in coordination with NetherRealm Studios and Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment. Uh, Mortal Kombat Legends Battle of the Realms picks up shortly after the explosive finale of Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion's Revenge, the 2020 blockbuster hit that initiated these animated films, which are based on one of the most popular video game franchises in history. In Mortal Kombat Battle of the Realms, our team of heroes are besieged by the enemy forces of Shao Kahn, forcing Raiden and his group of warriors in, uh, to deal and compete in a final Mortal Kombat that will determine the fate of the realms. So we're going to have Joel McHale coming back as Johnny Cage and Jennifer Carpenter, who's going to be coming back as Sonya Blade. So I'm very excited for that. That's so cool. I loved them in the first one. Um, we also going to have Jordan Rodriguez as Liu Kang, who's returning again, um, and Patrick Seitz, who's going to be as Scorpion again. Uh, and then we also have Art Butler as Shang Tsung and Cyrax. So I'm glad they're bringing in the cyborg ninjas. That's going to be so awesome. Uh, and then we have Robin Atkin Downs, who's going to be Shinnok and Rico. Uh, David B. Mitchell as Raiden. Uh, Kentaro and Sector. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of voices. Uh, you're a man of many talents. Um, Ike Amadi, who's going to be Jax Briggs. And one being uh, Gray Griffin, who is going to be Katana, Satoshi Hasashi, and Melina. Holy cow, so she's also a, a woman of many talents. That's amazing. Uh, Fred Tadishore, who's going to be playing Shao Kahn, which is great. He's got that voice, man. He's so good. Uh, but new to the Mortal Kombat Legends voice cast is going to be Matthew Mercer as Striker and Smoke. Biarde de Maguire as Sub-Zero, the Quay Lin, uh, Ling version. So I think this is that's the second uh, Sub-Zero, I believe. Um, so that's pretty cool. That I'm curious to see how that's going to play out in the story. Uh, Matt Yang King is going to be playing Kung Lao. 
uh, Paul Nakachi as Lin Kuei Grandmaster, Emily O'Brien as Jade, and Deborah Wilson as Devorah. So, yeah, a lot of new characters being thrown into this one. So that's very cool. I'm excited to see Smoke. I'm a big fan of Smoke. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of cool featurettes on this. There's going to be uh, the God and the Dragon, uh, go behind the scenes and inside of the creative process of bringing Mortal Kombat Legends, Battle of the Realms to action pack life on screen, uh, Voices of Combat, and you'll have Joel McHale, Jennifer Carpenter, and the cast as they talk about what it's like, you know, being in the movie, the process of creating unique, compelling voices, uh, which is cool. There's going to be a gag reel, uh, which is awesome. Um, um, there's going to be Battle of the Realms audio commentary, which I'm very pumped for because I like when they do commentary tracks and they don't do that a ton sometimes on animated stuff. So Rick Morales, who's a producer on this, and screenwriter Jeremy Adams are going to be doing an audio commentary track, which is very cool. I love listening to audio commentary tracks. That's how I learn about movies and storytelling and the decisions you know, these creative people make when they make them in their movies because sometimes I'm like, I don't know if I agree with that or I don't understand that. And then you'll hear the commentary and they explain it to you and I'm like, okay, now that's awesome. I'm glad they I'm glad they do that. I wish every movie had like numerous commentary tracks by everyone because uh, it's fun to hear from actors and what they bring to the table, writers, producers, directors. Like it's just, it's great. It's how you learn about filmmaking, I feel. Or it's one way at least. I'm pumped for this. August 31st cannot get here soon enough so between now and then definitely I will rewatch Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion's Revenge and give a proper review and put it up here on the channel as a Seek and Destroy episode and then when this comes out I will also review it for you guys as well and any new information or any screenshots or anything like that that come out I'll make sure to share with those with you as well so make sure you stay subscribed so you don't miss out on any Warner Brothers Home Entertainment or Mortal Kombat episodes from me thanks so much for watching the show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and we'll see you all in the future peace